Dick out there, some anime ladies, they're kinda cute and I am not. We are here in and do double hit and we do some games up in this place and it's kind of fucking neat and stuff. This is an episode of Doki Doki. Mm, something, 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 but <clears throat> it occurs to me that I should not be allowed to make music or to pretend to do it. This is not my not my forte. Anyway, hey, hi, ho, and howdy, everybody. My name is Shannon Shug, and welcome to yet again another episode of Ducky Ducky Literature Club. Um, in this last episode, I have no fucking idea what happened because it's been a little while since I got to record anything. So, it, it is so fucking crazy. I have never been in a position on YouTube ever where I have multiple, and I mean legitimately multiple episodes pre-recorded. And ready to go in in the in the lineup like this. I'm quite a few episodes ahead on Doki Doki, quite a few episodes ahead on Katawa Shoujo. I'm um, like an episode or two on freaking Momon. Persona is Persona and the review cap are obviously problems because I'm way behind on the review cap. And Persona I'm just kinda barely skirting ahead every time. And it's it's a problem. Anyway, but I'm very, very proud of where we are with this series of Academy Shoujo, and that is always a good thing because they're awesome. Anyway, it appears we are once again at the point where we must find ourselves creating a poem to impress our ladies. And you all know who my favorite is. It is not a mystery. It is not a a a a a a, a something. We know who it is. I just want to make sure my okay. My I just want to make sure my mouse wasn't being recorded. Anyway, um, you know who it is. Statsuki, she's my favorite. Best girl. Um, so let's 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 put something together here. How about um, um, you know what? I I a part of me wants to make a sad poem. Part of me does. Part of me wants to try and make a sad poem and try and guess. Because honestly, in theory at least, it will show us the perhaps sadder or darker side to these lives of these children, maybe, peoples. And I'm intrigued by that. So we're going to start off with Doki Doki. So, you know, obviously we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start in a way that makes no sense with what I just said. Um, moving on, let's see. Forgive. Oh, that's a Sayori one. Interesting. Interesting. Friends. That seems like a Sayori thing. Bubbles. Sayori. Blanket. Marriage. Marriage strikes me as a Yuri or Sayori. Blanket? I feel like alone. Oh, shit. Damn. I don't... I'm gonna I'm gonna pick things <laughs> I'm gonna move on to picking things that I know would kind of fit for Natsuki because she's my favorite and Don't take this from me. Um Skirt. We know that one's for her. Um Ocean Giggle. Yeah, of course it's fucking giggle. Bunny, obviously. We're we're we we we're all about the bun buns here. Um, let's see. Intellectual, that strikes me as a Yuri thing. Um, climax. Giggity. Um, fickle Rose. Oh, that's a side. We're, damn it. I don't. Ch fuck. Um, <laughs> Valentine. There we go. I will, I will work my way back. We're, we're bring it back. Bring it back to us. We got this. We got this. We got this. Um,. That's the thing that's really bothering me is a lot of these. I don't. I don't know. Oh damn! Despises Yuri. Interesting. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I just hit the mic. Um, anime, obviously. Fucking obvious. As it goddamn well should be. Um, 
pout. Obviously, you're pouty as fuck. I seen you. It's a cute. You're a cute little pouty muffin baby. Um, it's it's weird that I keep calling them baby when I find you attractive as fuck. Um, let's let's we'll just move on. We're gonna we're not gonna we're gonna pretend like this never happened. Skipping, obviously. She's all about skipping. Obviously, obviously, obviously. Um, wrath. Uh, cheeks, obviously. I see sweet fuck. Um, uh, god damn. Uh, kitty. All about the <laughs> cat. Cat. I mean cat. I was gonna say cat. I said cat. You saw I did it. It's I just seen it with my own eyes. I, I don't know why I have my screen set up the way I do. It's fucking with me a lot right now. There we go. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. I'm moving things. I didn't just break anything, did it? Okay, it didn't. I don't think. Um, anyway. Shit, now I closed. Fuck. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't remember my screen being as big as it is. Um, anyway, let's see. What, what else we got? We got... We're running out of choices here. We're running out of choices, and that's bugging me. That's bugging me here, because I know we got a lot of points to Sayuri, and I'm not, I'm not about that life. I love, love she's, a, she's, she's, she's a muffin, but she ain't my muffin, my mini baby muffin girl, and it is gonna be a problem for me. Silly. That seems like a fucking Sayuri thing. Um, none of these are particularly cute. Jumpy. Okay, jumpy. There we go. Um, boop. We knew this. We knew it was gonna be boop. Um, the question is, ooh, sticky. <laughs> uh, dazzle. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, was Sayori. Hop. There we go. I don't know if that's enough to turn the tide. Oh. Well, hello there, Monica. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just kind of walked in, too. <coughs> Seriously, why the fuck is my thing so goddamn big? It was not this big before. I'm not used to them being all up on my grill like this. I'm not complaining because my eyes are, like, perfectly level with... I mean... There we go, stand up straight. Look right into their eyeballs like a normal human being, you fucking monster. Okay. Were you practicing piano again? Yes, I'm afraid so. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. You've been playing Undertale again, yes. <laughs> Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but perhaps, I guess, passion. Remember, the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I am super happy that you are willing to help out for the festival as well. I can't wait for the festival! Oh my goodness, it's gonna be great! Uh huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Uh, yeah, yeah. But I'm not talking about our part of the festival. <laughs> Ugh. But it's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. I'm all about it. It's my life. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a delicious food girl. It's <laughs> great <laughs> cake. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Uh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right your name, bud. Ika. I don't... I don't know what that means. I don't... I'm one of these here uncultured American swine. I don't know what it means. Just to... Where's my guns? I mean... <laughs> Move, moving on. Huh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, the joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. <laughs> Who needs a fourth wall? Um, uh, uh, n never mind. Wait a minute. 
I now that I think about it, is that just a joke or is that some? God, I can't trust this fucking game. It knows. Fucking she knows. Tell me, Monica. Tell me how it do. Um. Well, let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's and Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Oh, baby girl, what's wrong? Huh? You're spacing out again. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong vo Oh, God. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Uh, of course. Uh, why, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> this feels like you're a little off. I'm sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Oh, uh, I go soil. Sorry, shows a big old smile, like I just said. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right. You say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed and everyone's back to the usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. <laughs> Shannon, what's up? Biatch. Hey, this might sound a little strange, but uh, have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm just reading a little too much into it, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Aw. I did that. I know how that do. Um, maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Shannon. You certainly know a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. S sorry, I, I know it's not your problem. I just want to know if you knew anything. So I'll, I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also do care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed a little like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, dumbass. Uh, me? But what do you talk about, do? How do Earth come to come conclusion come? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sari talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. And of course, I said some shit about Natsuki yesterday, and now she's probably sad, and it's my fault. And now she's gonna show up to school tomorrow with a knife. Um... It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is... She's... She's always like that, though. She's always been full of sunshine. She is my little rainbow bunny. Um, it's very different now than it's always been. <laughs> you're so funny, Shannon. Have you ever thought that maybe you're always seeing her as so cheerful? Because it's just how she is when she's around you. Ooh, dropping that fucking knowledge. Ah, I've said too much. I'm sorry. What do I... What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh... Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but... I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but it's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her and that I'm letting this weigh me down so damn much? Now it feels like I'm the only one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Hey you. 
I can think of some things you can do, like me. Ha <laughs> ha! Up top. Um, what? I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't much time, so... Oh, um, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not... It's not like I'm worried. It was just... Baka. Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. Oh, Have I told you you're my favorite? Um, oh, that's right. Something just came up for a minute, but, you know, we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, you can just tell me to leave you alone, I will. What if I don't want you to leave me alone, though? What if I want you to snuggle up beside me? Jump into my arms. Like a little princess! Um... I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about her or anything. She practically mumbles at that last part. Nah, I'm probably just making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. You know what I did about Sayori? Thinking about her? Uh, yeah, she just seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me, so I can't really help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. So you're saying you don't want to crab your hands deep down into the underground? A player like a piano. I mean, <laughs> mm. add that to the list of things I'm both incredibly embarrassed and extremely proud of. Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, you should really work at your phrasing. But anyway, uh, you're her best friend, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she dated you, then you would be the first person she'd go to, right? Well, I, I guess that's true. You and your logic. Run circles around me, why don't you? I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh... D don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a, a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not... How dare you insult me with such accusations? Oh my god. Also, my voice keeps getting really deep because my nose is kind of plugged up. It kind of works, but I also lose some of my feminine charm. Uh, All that feminine charm you got. Um, jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. I'm thinking I'm gonna start making the episodes a little longer. I, I like, like I like short episodes because they allow me more time to like spread things out and it gives me more breathing room. But it always ends up getting cut off at weird points and I don't particularly like that. I don't know. We'll see. I, I think I'm gonna try and keep things more normal, like what I used to do. I don't. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't bother people. All zero of you who watch this fucking series. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we not sh Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. <laughs> I mean, we know who we're sharing with first. This favoritism is gonna get me murdered. <laughs> I'm not even, again, I was kind of jo I was like I was joking about Sari showing up with a knife tomorrow, but again, I don't know what the fuck is going on in this game, and I'm worried. <laughs> At every corner, it's not gonna stop me from making potentially really dumb decisions. I'm just saying, I might want to turn my light on soon. Um, let's see, let's see. You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course. You know I like your writing. 
I'm just surprised. It seemed like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, well, of course. I just had to put it in. I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like. It's not like I was like shy or anything stupid like that, or jealous, or. I didn't think you had a, a beautiful body, and if I asked you, would you hold against me? I mean, I really wasn't that jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer, that's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. Ha ha ha! Natsuki? What? You're not very confident in your writing, are you? Uh? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best. Right? It took me a while to figure it out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. Overcompensation. If she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way too. Right? Shannon, please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me that I'm the best. Oh, Girl, you know I love your fucking poems. You, got, you make my favorite poems. Not to say that everyone else isn't great. I actually really like everyone else's as well. I'm just saying. You're my favorite, so inherently everything you do is my favorite. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. Oh, I know it sounds stupid, but there's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Natsuki. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point to share my poems if they're just gonna laugh and say that's so cute, just like you, Natsuki? Sometimes I don't want to be cute. But nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? Oh. You make me fucking sad, game. Stop it. I just what? Natsuki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver. Oh, don't fucking cry. I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. Give her a goddamn hug, sir. Hey, Natsuki? If you're not careful, you'll rip up your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hand until she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she put into it. D d don't read it! Before I can pick it back up, Natsuki, <laughs> Natsuki snatches the poem up from the desk. It's not any good. I shall be the judge of that. And I know you hate my poem. That's just some... No! God damn it! So, you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it, though. Why? Because I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true, the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think your style is more amateur than hers. And Sayuri, she always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. You're fucking cute, don't get me that wrong. You're just a little more than that as well. Uh... Natsuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she forces herself to extend her arms and set the poem on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I'm gonna look at my face right now. Okay. I will. Please stop making me so goddamn sad. You're hurting my heart, Natsuki. Because you. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout. But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. Oh, this is... I'm li I'm a legitimately fucking tear up here. Don't you do this to me. Um, when something is above me, I reach for the stars. When I feel small, I don't give very far. My standing's a little bit taller, because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all my heart. But what do I do when it's torn all apart? My faith is a little bit stronger, because you trusted me. The pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. 
My poems are a little bit dearer because you think of me. Because you, because you, because you. Seriously, I want all these fucking poems, and I, I want I want them. I, I want all these poems, like, printed out on fucking posters and shit. I want them. Um, why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It was just a little surprising to read. Uh, I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things come from you. D d d don't just say that! Dubby! Baka! Dude! What do you think the, the point of writing is? Expressing things that you can't just say. Y yeah, I, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well. And I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah. I'm... I'm a pro, so... Natsuki mumbles, completely failing to sound confident like she usually does. Okay, so I, her voice is slipping away from me because every time I try and jump into it, it gets really kind of fucked up because my nose is all kind of plugged up. Which is some bullshit. I just got done being sick. I don't need it again. Um, but, um... That and... It's, it's difficult to take her seriously sometimes when it's that voice. So I'm, I'm going to try and work her into a more normal voice. Just remember that I can think of these things sometimes too. You know, when you're nice to me, it's meaningful. Oh. I'm glad. Sensing Natsuki is satisfied, I start to hand the poem back to her. But as I do so, Natsuki takes my hands and pushes them back away. Her small, soft hands surprise me with their assertion. I don't want it. Um... Why not? I just don't. Jeez. I realize what Natsuki's doing. When able to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm gonna keep it. Instead of teasing her, I chose to go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I, I would... Uh, never mind. Just, I'm glad that you want it. Natsuki backpedals on her words and leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her faintly smiling to herself. It's all for now, so... Go put it away before someone sees it, okay? I don't know why she's now fucking ca Canadian. What the... Yeah, eh? You, yeah, you like my poem, eh? Uh, yeah, I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so I can put away Natsuki's poem. I don't care what anyone says. She's fucking the best. I fucking love Natsuki. She's slowly breaking my fucking heart, but I'm I'm loving it. I'm sure these the other two are gonna fucking destroy my goddamn heart as well. Cause I know Sayori is already starting to take some emotional hits from this shit. <laughs> Hmm. It's, it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, did you? Probably not, Suki. Uh, eh? I, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. I mean... Kind of. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of Sayori points in there, just... You're... I'm sorry. Maybe. It's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. It makes me really... Really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well... Of course I am. Good. It's all that matters to me. Thank you, Shannon. Sorry. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, n nothing. Just a little tired today. <laughs> All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. You insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself.
This game is fucking with my heart. Like, even if it's not fucking with me in a scary way, it's fucking with me just, like, playing with my emotions, and I don't fucking like it. Sorry, Sayori. I don't have to choose anyone over the other. Don't do this. Hey, Yuri. Are you still pissed at me? Please don't be. Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with- Of course she fucking doesn't. Who else have I pissed off? Can I- Is there anyone that I haven't fucking completely burned all my goddamn bridges with just because I'm trying to take care of my fucking favorite? I'm sorry. I love you all. It's just one of you I actually like. It's like a it's different kinds of love. Get what I'm saying. Okay. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. Oh, for fucking sh- God damn it. Monica, please fucking assist. You be my fucking confidant, my friend, my teammate here. I need someone fucking batting in my goddamn corner. Even if you are some sort of manipulative fucking monster, which I'm expecting you to be. Look at those fucking green ass eyes. Those are the eyes of a goddamn demon. Um. Well, hello, Shannon. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well. Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. Could I read Natsuki's poem? But, like, read it to her because she makes me feel the same way. Can I do that? Would that be shitty because I'm stealing her poem? But I am, I am I'm doing it as an act to, like, say I, I feel the same way about you. Can I do that? I want to do that. I really want to do that. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll still turn out great. It would also make me very happy to see. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Uh, sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Hmm. Sticking with Natsuki style once more, I see. Hmm? You really like Natsuki, don't you? Uh, that's, um... Oh, come on, you silly bastard. Do you honestly think you're hiding it? Because you're not. You've been telling the audience from the start that she's your favorite. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every single day. Pretending to like the manga that she's into. Uh, what if I actually like it? I like it, though. I'm all about some parfait girls. Y you know how Natsuki is? If I don't indulge her, she'll just end up hating me. Uh, no, I think you're misunderstanding, Shannon. It's not like Natsuki hate just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the only one who's indulged her as much as you have. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I just kind of didn't want to admit it. So, I just need to ask one thing of you. Be careful, please. Natsuki is kind of unpredictable. A lot of times she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. She might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. What I'm saying is... If something bad happens, that, then, it could end up, then it could end up damaging the club too. And you wouldn't want to do that to me, right? I don't like this fucking game. I don't... <laughs> okay, I do like it. I actually really fucking love this game. I'm just saying... I'm, af I'm afraid. That's... I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. While I care about her in the club, it's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I realize that me coming in here is totally dividing up all the fucking friendships. It's breaking Sayori's heart because she likes Homeboy. It's tearing Yuri apart from everyone else because I picked fucking Yuri, Natsuki over her. So now she's all like not having any, like not even giving me the fucking time of day because she thinks I fucking hate her or some shit. <sighs> That's why I don't have fucking friends. Um, I can't hold on to him. I'm the worst. Um... Monica smiles sweetly. Anyway, I shall share my poem with you now. Is that all right? Uh, all right. The lady knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift, adrift the sky. Victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. 
But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Twilight. I like that. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Fucking love these poems, dude. Shoutouts to the person who wrote them. I don't know if that was just. I need, I need to see the people who worked on this fucking game because I approve of everything so far. I'm probably gonna approve of the horrible shit later. I'm just. I'm also afraid. Um, you know, I feel like learning and looking for answers. The sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put that much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Dr. Pepper. It's paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you would know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. I don't fucking trust you. Um, anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? I've been there. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. And I think that goes with anything, any kind of art. Even this fucking weird thing that I'm doing here that is not art in any way and it's just me talking into a goddamn microphone. Even that, I put... I put a decent amount of work into it. I mean, like, it's nowhere near the level of anyone else. Or, well, not anyone else, but a lot of people out there. A lot of people out there put absurd amounts of work into the things that they put on YouTube. And it depresses me to all fucking back that I'm terrible and don't have the drive to do that and don't have the means to do that sometimes. And it's one of those things where, like, yeah, it can be disheartening. I put out, I put out, well, what, three videos in the past week or so? Or in the past two weeks, I should say, that have zero views on them. Don't know if anyone's gonna watch them anytime soon. It sucks. It hurts a little. And be like, oh, well, fuck me. Well... Glad I wasted six hours putting that together or whatever. It's probably a little exaggerated. But it's like, say, a Persona video. That's a good four or so hours trying to put that together, get it recorded, wait for it to export, render. That can take fucking multiple ads. It is more like six hours. And then another day and a half for the fucking thing to goddamn upload. But, like, it's, it's one of the things you do put a bit into, and it, it sucks not to always get much of a response. Oh god, much a response out of it, but I mean, I mean, it happens. You just gotta keep pushing forward. You, you won't always nail it. When you do, though, it's satisfying. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That is my advice for today. Monica, signing off. Thank you for listening. Excuse me while I put it in my scrapbook. Um, in fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. If you insist. The fuck you say? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Ugh. Damn it. Never mind. She is evil. She knows my, my, my weaknesses. Cookies and strongly worded love letters. Uh